The game kicking off about 45 plus minutes past the initial time that it was meant to be, but Mother Nature decided to keep us waiting with bated breath here. Five players in the midfield, so we'll make, perhaps we'll see him up top with Robles Herrera and Velasquez remain out for the time being. Obviously, Obregon Jr., we mentioned him over time. We'll perhaps see him for a half or so, maybe a little bit with a veteran from France, such a creative. Greenville seeking their first win in a while. They were all out of sorts early against Noko. Found themselves down 2-0 in that matchup last weekend. Getting a little healthier tonight. Obviously, a win here will be very, very important. Getting to that knockout stage where we think they may go play Madison. I'm not sure of the seeding purposes, but Madison and Noko certainly hosting the two semifinals. Omaha likely already in with that wild card total. Unless this game finishes 6-6 or 7-7. Plays it inside. Overton taps it back out. Sorensen. Life down the process, play goes on. Alvarez back inside, diving header knocks it out. And it's a through in. Alvarez back to Overton. Rodrigo Robles with a very risky tackle challenge in the box. Overton takes the shot, it's off the post. And now going the other direction. Lyon McKinnon gets knocked into. And another booking, Anton Sorensen goes in. His fourth yellow card in Jägermeister Cup play. Look at it here, see if we can see if Gunther Rankenberg did indeed get a touch on this one. It's hard to tell just with the pace. Scored a rebound goal last week and that went over Fuego. Find the back of the net occasionally, Clay. And here we go again. Another look into the books. That's the second one for Robles. He's off. Rodrigo Robles. Absolutely anywhere, Mark. It's a risky play trying to hit it back where the ball is going. Another ball inside, headed away by Smith. And Jai, not on the same page as Spielman. He was looking in the complete opposite direction. Lee sends Lyon McKinnon running. Lyon McKinnon. A chance to make a play himself. Plays it across! And it deflects into the arms of Austin Pack. Into space. He looked up, was looking for support. And Zion Scarlett. Nice ball in, but he... Winding about, loses his footing, but he doesn't lose the ball. It's the battle of the balls. Here's Obergon. Hits the brakes. Obergon takes the shot, but it's right down the middle. Evan Lee just gets that one away. And it's returned to him by Anderson. Evan Lee back to Anderson. And that one's saved by Pack. Not sure if that was intended to be a shot or a cross, Ross, but. Austin Pack, he even misjudges. I didn't expect the shot to come in. Those, two, those last two plays sum up this first half a little bit offensively. Just a bit of sloppiness from both sides. Remember, Greenville did play on Sunday. So one less day of rest. Independence and it was all the way on the road in Colorado. We'll do it for the first half. It was ugly in a couple of ways, Ross. And the whistle blows, preventing Greenville from progressing forward. Well, actually, it's going to be a free kick for Greenville. That's the second one. So Sorensen has been sent off. As you mentioned, his second yellow card, which means it's down to 10 men for both teams. Two more changes on the docket, getting ready for Mike Jeffries. As this one's sent forward, Smith goes down, Obergon slipping it through, and it gets by the keeper! A sliding finish! And it may be the man of Greenville's nightmares again, Dustin Correa. Twenty-five yards out. Once again, Obregon Jr. with another assist against Greenville. That's a quality sliding finish. Angiano plays this one inside, and it's just beyond goal. Evan Lee made contact with it. Austin Pack knew how close this was going to be. He was at full stretch to his right. 
has won a match in this series and it was Greenville last year. Charlotte looking to buck that. Angiano to Zakowski. Even better off if he tried to head it back across. He had Castor on Fricky there. Too close to Austin Pack. Nice little cross by Angiano. Even better off just. The whistle still not blown. Rankenberg plays the long ball forward. Headed away, Zakowski. And there's the final whistle. Charlotte haven't asked for the check yet. Their Jaeger Meister Cup journey continues. One nil your final score. As for the first time in the series history,